amours welcome back again to another pick a card with me cindy antoinette so for today we're going to take a look some of the secrets that your person is hiding from you and what are their real intention towards you okay remember to use your own intuition and if you would like to book a personal reading with me, I am already open for advanced booking for the month of May. So you can already email me right now to secure a schedule, all complete info, how to book, and my price list is in the description and in the pinned comments as always. And whenever you are booking for a scheduled reading, you can always change your questions okay so i would also love for you to check out this video that i just uploaded i did this a collaboration with my friend magistus mifta where we share about the importance of energy exchange in sacred sex so yes we are talking about the healing and the manifestation properties of sex magic so we're seeing this from the perspective of a very sacred and spiritual uh, ritual okay so i would love for you to check that video out on my other channel at amorinet i'm just going to leave the link over here and also down below alongside with my instagram at amorinet for more posts okay so let's get into today's pick a card and as always i will be using my own art as a tool for you to choose your piles pile number one two and three it's always from left to <clears throat> right Ooh, <laughs> from left to right hello my amours who picked the very first pile this one okay so let's take a look now based on the energy that i am picking up from the art itself is that your person really really loves you a lot okay they do have a lot of feelings towards you but they have been trying to keep that deep within themselves because they are scared that if they would confess to you or if they would be in a relationship with you then they're just going to get hurt so they definitely have experience a lot of pain betrayals and disappointment and they definitely want to be very careful because they don't want to get that sting anymore okay because as you can pay attention you know in this illustration with this bee over here that is coming out of her chest so that is like a symbolism of the pain and the fear that this person has but quite ironically the more that they react this way to this connection the more that they are also hurting you because of you know their own pain but it's not like they do it intentionally it's just that they are still dealing with some of this pain that they have within themselves so this person could be um emotionally unstable maybe they also have some anger uh, problems or jealousy problems but at least the good thing is that here in this illustration you also he uh, see that even though she <laughs> she is very much headless but there are this uh bright living plants uh, growing from her severed neck and there is this really big seed over here which represent the desire for this person to just take a leap of faith to not let themselves overthink too much and just give this connection a chance because they believe that there is still a good opportunity a really good potential for this connection to actually grow okay so yeah i actually see that you know from the energy i can already feel your person definitely has good intention towards you what they want is definitely union with you they want to make this love happen but then again some of the things that they may have said or did to you uh, could have uh, been hurtful or disrespectful and you know that's true this is not to invalidate what you also feel my amours but this is like the things that's uh, going on that's happening behind the scene in their own personal life but i don't feel like they ever try to hurt you intentionally okay but it's not an excuse okay it's it's still not ever an excuse 
for you to disrespect somebody, to ghost somebody, to, you know, leave somebody behind without any explanation. Like, it's still not an excuse, okay? So, that is like the overall situation that I am picking up. Now, I'm going to do something very, very interesting. As you can see over there, I have a colorful uh, lamp, okay? So, I can actually control the color wheel here from my phone and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to randomly pick a color to represent your person's current energy and emotions about this connection, okay? Okay, so a lot of blue. Your person is feeling hopeful actually, okay, which is really good. They they are feeling hopeful about this. So let's take a look any other intentions and secrets that they have. Okay. Wow, look, the Ten of Pentacles. This is the card of complete fulfillment, happiness, the family, the marriage, okay? The stability, the abundance, everything, literally everything. This is that good, good life. So what they want with you is to have this everlasting connection, marriage, possibly wanting to have children as well. They also want to work together with you. So it could also be that if you have the same interests or the same business mindset, then I see that this person definitely wants to work together with you. Like for example, if both of you are in the creative, in the entertainment industry, then I see this person definitely want, uh, wants to work together with you. They want to collaborate on something here. But their intention for this love connection is definitely for an everlasting long marriage. Or a long-term commitment okay if you are not really into having like legalities and the papers and all of that I mean that's fine this can also talk about the commitment the union between both of your hearts okay so let's take a look again at what are their intentions towards you for this connection What are their intention towards you in this connection? We have the two of ones in the reverse. They don't want to fight, okay? So if both of you had any arguments, they definitely do not want to fight anymore and they never meant to fight with you. They never meant to make any drama or misunderstandings. They really do not like having arguments with you because all that they really truly want with you is this harmonious balance in this connection. Every time that you both fight or argue with each other, it really makes them sad, okay? But for some of you, again, like I said, just for some of you, your person could just be a bit immature or they just don't really know how to communicate properly or behave properly because they never really had that, you know, experience before. I, I don't feel like your person being ignorant okay i feel like your person genuinely wants to be a better person for you and for themselves as well as well they want to be responsible for life for you know the possible future family the kids and everything else and the career the money they really want to be mature and responsible but it's just that it could be that this person did not have many experiences in life or especially in love connections as much as you do or they just don't really have that same level of mindset than you so i do see that this person is willing to learn and grow but it may just take some time okay because this person may learn some things a bit slow again not because that they are ignorant not because that they are denying you or anything. It's just that both of you are on a different wavelength mindset, okay, mentally, for, for now. That, that's what I'm picking up. So actually, so far, this reading is really good, actually. It's pretty positive. Okay, last one. We have the High Priestess Major Arcana card. 
So they highly respect you. They really, really do respect you a lot. And they feel as if you can always read their mind, which is kind of scary like to them. And it's quite intimidating, but they really, really see you as somebody that knows everything. They see you as a very wise person, okay? And this makes them love you even more because they feel as if you can be the one to also guide them and they are willing to learn so now for the last part of this reading we are going to take a look what are the secrets that they are purposely hiding from you okay let's take a look okay i sense a lot of fear okay the secret that they are purposely hiding from you is their fear they have a lot of fear some traumatic events as well yeah that's what i'm picking up maybe they experienced something in the past in in the recent past from their childhood i feel that this person they are scared that they could not handle their masculine energy or that they cannot be that divine masculine energy okay regardless of gender or sexuality okay i'm talking about the energy here so just take whichever way that it fits to your situation and your person but i'm picking up very specifically that this person is so afraid that they would fail so it could be that when it comes to the masculine energy they want to be this strong protective, dependable, responsible, and, you know, being this provider, masculine figure, they want, they want, maybe they also want to be a father, okay, specifically, for some of you, this person could want to be a, a father, a husband, okay, they, they also want to feel that they are good enough, okay, but, <sighs> They feel as if they're not capable of being that figure just yet. Okay, they, they want to earn your respect as well. As in, they want you to accept their love. Okay, but they feel as if they're not capable of being that king. <coughs> they're, not being, uh, they're not just capable of being that divine masculine emperor energy just yet mm -hmm. <coughs> oh pile number one i feel like your person has a lot to say but they're very scared let me take a drink we have the five of wands in the upright oh yeah sorry i forgot uh this is the three of wands this is the five of wands okay so what they are purposely hiding from you is that they they are planning to move away from their past so that they can move towards you but the reason why like the other reason why they're not doing this just yet it's because they could be in some drama situation right now i feel like this has something to do with workplace and family okay they are dealing with some issues it could be some legal issues or like uh, drama okay uh, arguments but it's quite heavy it's it's burdening this person and i feel it has a lot to do with the work environment uh, or or something corporate okay corporation corporate that words uh, keeps coming up and also family issues so this is what's going on in their life they really wish that they could tell you though and they actually want to tell you so that you can also understand about what's going on with them personally but they really really try so hard to be this perfectly strong person this masculine energy and that's why they're not sharing this the knight of pentacles in the upright position they are on the process or about to go on a journey of changing jobs or changing a career path they want to make more money so that once they move towards you once they show up in your life 
they could be the king of pentacles instead of just the knight. So they want to be able to be this like perfect figure basically, okay? Wow, the star. This person is really hoping a lot from this connection and from you. And also, I feel like this person could also still be dealing with the pain, the fear from a past love connection, okay, an ex. There is this energy like as if they feel that the energy from the past or like this person from their past is still haunting them. Basically, they have a lot of fears, okay? It's, it's more about their mind, their mentality state that they are hiding from you because they don't want you to worry and they don't want you to see them as being weak, okay? So they want to be this divine, healthy, balanced, masculine energy, but, you know, quite ironically, they're still in this energy of being in this, you know, unhealthy, masculine energy, again regardless of gender or sexuality so the card here is a major arcana okay so this is actually good what they're hiding is that they may also hide their relationship or their status with you from the public eye and you may be really pissed about this but i see that the reason why they're doing this it's because in their mind they think that they are protecting you from this drama about their family issues over here so you may be feeling like, but if this person really wants to be me, uh, wants to be me, if this person really wants to be with me or even marry, uh, marry me, shouldn't it be obvious that this person has to build the trust as well with me? Why aren't they sharing this? Well, that again, in their mindset, as long as they have drama or basically in a situation that they deem not perfect they're just not going to share because this is somebody that wants to do everything successfully okay they always want to have a result they always want to have this perfectionism and if that's not the case then they feel like it's just not worthy it's just not going to be worthy for them to even share or, or talk about oh look at that engagement so they are planning to engage, uh, to propose to you, and also to engage with you a communication, a reconciliation, okay? So I see that this person genuinely loves you though. I don't see anything like bad or fishy and shady about them. They really truly want to be with you and they want to make it happen. Playfulness. So they are afraid that okay so at least here's the thing they do have some awareness though they feel like if they keep doing this act you may doubt them you may think that they're just being a player i think that i'm sorry <clears throat> oh pardon me oh this energy is just like a lot it's too much so yeah it's like at some point i do see that they are aware or that they will be aware soon that if they keep up this act of trying to be perfect all the time and asking you to trust them while at the same time not sharing a lot with you, they know that you would doubt them. You would think that they're being shady, but they're not, okay? They're not. This is a confirmation, okay? So let's take a look at any more confirmation cards over here. True love, yeah, see? You are their true love they may just need to finish some family uh, issues here over here oh look at that oh damn okay look at that reconciliation and soulmate yeah this is a soul connection here see what did i say forgiveness and learning yeah this is going to be the lesson for the both of you confirmation you're going to reconcile with them but whether you're going to accept them or not, I mean, well, that's up to you, of course. Okay, so there you go, pile number one, my amours. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments, and I will definitely be back again with some more. And don't forget to follow my Instagram as well at Amorinet. See you. Hello, my amours. Welcome to pile number two. 
with this artwork that you have chosen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, <laughs> I'm already picking this up very loud and clear as a day. So based on the art itself, as you can see, it's a very symbolic one, right? So this person, they have lied to you, okay? They have betrayed you. Now, what I see here is that for most of you, the lies that they told you, it's not really about like something extreme. I don't really pick that up, okay? Their lies is more about they just like to make their life story or who they are more dramatic like a freaking fantasy novel so that you would be impressed by them. Okay, so for example, I'm picking up very specifically. Okay, so let's say this person tells you that they have two jobs and they earn like $5,000 a month. But the truth is that they only have one job and they probably don't even earn up to $1,000 a month, okay? So I do see that they could be lying about their financial situation because they just want to look successful, rich, and cool in front of you. Now, for, for others, this is really interesting. If this person tried to act like a F boy, F girl, just to look cool. Well, guess what? On the contrary, the truth is that they're not like that. <laughs> so if they seem as if they are being a player and they say, they tell you that, oh, I, I have three exes. Oh yeah, I have experience this and that. Oh yeah, I'm very experienced on the bed. Well, the truth is like, no, no. <laughs> They're far from that. So it's really weird, right? Because a lot of times uh, people would lie to you by saying that, oh, I'm very loyal, I am a family person, I'm very committed. But in the back, wow, they're like the complete opposite. But the interesting thing, the unique part of this message I'm picking up is that this person is doing the opposite. They're actually lying of doing like naughty things or bad things just to look cool. <laughs> like what? So yeah, basically that's what uh, has been going on, okay? But I feel that you already smelled that suspicious, you know, shady energy and you started to question this person. Now this person, uh, they are swallowing their lies okay or they are about to swallow their own lies and their own pride as well because they have been just like talking and talking and talking maybe they brag about some things on social media as well but reality is going to hit them and i feel like reality has been hitting this person ever since the pandemic especially when that you know whole quarantine and then the lockdown happens okay if that happened in your place in your country then uh, this is a confirmation like that's what has been going on with this person for some time so this could have been going on for like months or since like last year 2021 at least like spring summer last year so yeah this person has been hit by reality now I'm picking up that this person is going to experience a tower moment that will finally bow down their ego and their, their pride, okay? And that's what's going to make them come to you to really be humble and apologize. Even though they still have their arrogancy, but I see that they're changing though. Now, let's take a look at more messages. Wow, that was a really nice channeling message. So we're going to take a look at the cards, but before that, I'm going to do something very interesting. So I have a color wheel over here to change the color of my lamp over there. Now I'm going to just randomly select a color to represent your person's current energy and emotions, okay? Okay. 
Okay, so we have green. That is the heart chakra, okay? Love, compassion, and also being humble. That's perfect. Green also signifies healing and growth. That is like perfect confirmation. Now, the other side of green, the darker side of the color green, this also represents envy, jealousy, toxicity. So this bad energy that your person was dealing with and being in that energy in the past, I do see that this is changing, okay? It's finally changing. So let's take a look at any other hidden things and secrets that they have been purposely hiding from you. I feel like what it's more about the lies, okay? The lies and trying to look cool and all of that. That is uh, the, the secret. So the, the secret is that it's like their life background, what I'm picking up. They have been purposely hiding their life story, their true life story, their background about their hometown as well or their family situation. That's what they have been trying to purposely hide from you. Now, why is that? Well, I feel like they're very, very ashamed. They're very embarrassed about it. They're not proud of it at all, whatever it is that they may have done or that they experience. So this person could have uh, said things like, oh, I never experienced love. Oh, I never had any, you know, my first love. Like, nah, I don't need that. Like, I never experienced that. I never experienced pain. I never experienced heartbreak, uh, heartbreaks, you know, things like that. But the truth is, oh, their emotional pain and trauma, it runs deeper than you would ever guess. So I feel like one of the reasons as to why your person really tried so damn hard to be this cool person, it's because they want to mask their pain. They don't want to seem as if like they're this weak person, okay? They're very embarrassed about it. So they try to look as if they are the bad person. Oh yeah, I'm a bad girl, a bad boy. But it, honestly, <laughs> they're not even doing that. And in fact, they're the one who, who got hurt a lot. So this person, okay, we have, wow, the Nine of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you, okay? Sun in reverse, Major Arcana, they're not happy. They're not happy at all without you. And they really, really want to reconcile or they want to like move this relationship forward to a higher level of commitment. What they are still struggling to share with you is that they actually got hurt by a lover in the past that really, really broke them. I mean, it almost broke them, but it really felt like hell for them. We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't see there's any third party in the situation. It really is just this person dealing with their own, you know, mental and emotional struggles. I do see that they are alone or I mean, they're just with you. Okay, they don't have any real friends as well. So if they keep bragging about how cool and how luxurious their social life is, and I know this person, I know that, 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 you know, name dropping everybody as if they know the whole world and all celebrities and all of that. And no, it's not like that. That's not the case. Okay, not the case. It's even far from that. Three of cups in the reverse. So we have two threes over here. This person is afraid that you would date other people. They're afraid, like legit. Eight of wands. Now this is their intention. Their intention is to suddenly, surprisingly, out of nowhere, pop back up into your life or if you are still in communication, they're going to out of the blue say like, you know, I actually really like you and I think I have feelings for you. I don't know where this is going, but 
be my girlfriend, be my boyfriend, okay? So I do see that their intention is to actually be in an official relationship with you. So let's take a look at anything else. You know, this person could had some active uh, sex life in the past, but it's not as dramatic as how they told you. Okay, so again, like I said, there's just a lot of different conversations and messages that I hear, okay, but basically you get the gist, right? Like this person, they're just trying to dramatize everything. They also want to have a child, okay, they want to have a child with you or they always plan to have a child. This person could have a child, by the way. Or you could have a child. I mean, that's only for some of you, okay? Or, oh, this is pretty dark. Okay, so trigger warning. This is going to be a little bit dark. I I'm picking up if this person is the one that may have a child, they lost their child, okay? This is really heavy. This is really, really heavy. They may have lost their child. So, yeah. But for most of you, I feel like this person is single though. They don't have anybody around. They don't even have friends. They don't even have an active social life. So we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. See, what did I say? This person wants to converse about a lot of things with you. That's their intention. They want to text you. They want to call you. They may start to comment on your social media post. Love yourself first. I feel like one of the reasons why this person got really, 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 really badly hurt and betrayed in the past, it's because their ex, okay, their ex was the one who could actually have a child already or got pregnant or, or, or something and they tell, uh, I mean, they told your person that it's their baby or their child, but it's a lie. It's actually, uh, it's not true. So yeah, that's what I'm picking up. So it could be that this whole situation about having a baby, pregnancy or children, it's very triggering for your person. It's because they have been lied to before by their ex. Ah, that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now last but not least, also, by the way, I keep seeing synchronizing numbers. Ooh, look at that. Codependency and wedding. This person got so betrayed because they were also in a toxic relationship. They could have dealt with somebody that was very manipulative as well. That's why it's very difficult for them to trust uh, other people. Yeah, wedding, look honeymoon, and pay attention to the red flags. This person, okay, one of, the uh, one of their secrets as well is that they could have... Uh, gotten married before or engaged to somebody but it, it, you know it, it fell apart so they they canceled the engagement or the other person canceled the engagement or they got divorced okay but this is so painful that they cannot bring up this topic just yet this is really heavy s-h-i-t let me tell you because i feel like what could also have happened is that if this person in the past got married and the other person, uh, you know, is pregnant, okay, especially uh, if you are in a straight relationship, okay, because I'm picking up a lot of masculine energy from your person. So if their spouse, uh, their partner got pregnant, of course, you would automatically think it's like your child, but apparently not. And this what really broke your person because they got cheated on, okay? So there you go. Yeah, I feel like their past partner also used them for like money, for, 
for success or for a career status or something i mean b basically like their past partner really treated them so poorly they were so toxic and manipulative they never cared for your person and all they ask is just for the money that is like way out of their budget so that's what i'm picking up okay so oh yeah don't wonder why your person keep having this like weird obsession or lies about financial situation so either way that is your reading okay upon number two and i know that this got like really dark pretty quickly in this reading but i still hope that this brings you the clarity that you need thank you so much for watching just let me know down in the comments i will be back for sure and don't forget to follow my instagram at amorinet see you again hello hello amours for those of you who picked the fairy last pile with pile number three so very interesting you know most of the times in my videos in my channel a lot of you who's watching are uh, the, the feminine okay you are the divine feminine regardless of gender or sexuality but i do uh, see that most of my audience here who's watching uh, are uh, women and also divine feminines but really interestingly is that i feel for this pile you you my amours who's watching you are the divine masculine you're the masculine energy or the masculine figure over here okay and you are asking about your person here who is your feminine your divine feminine partner so Either way, again, remember, this is still the energy we're talking about. So based on the art that I'm seeing is that what your person is purposely hiding from you is that they are dealing with a lot of crazy AF stuff in their life right now that has something to do with psychic attacks, black magic, or even their obsessed uh, ex. Okay, sorry. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pile number three. Ooh, that was a lot of energy. Oh, let me just burn some Palo Santo. Yeah, so your person, okay, <clears throat> they are dealing with a, like, no joke, okay? They are dealing with a crazy AF obsessed ex, or somebody who's crushing on them and this person is terrorizing your person this crazy person is haunting terrorizing your divine feminine they may even send black magic ritual spells to attract and to trap your divine feminine and I do see that the divine feminine here is aware okay your person is aware they're trying to protect themselves but they're not sharing this with you because they just don't want to create any more drama they want to do this work alone they want to cleanse and protect themselves okay now they are in the middle of like working on a lot of career a business projects so they're just still focusing on themselves but this is the secret that they're keeping from you now the issue here is that somehow in some ways your person still has some love towards their ex or this past person okay so that's the uh, situation here so yeah even though the situation is really complicated and it may even be quite dark but i feel as if your person still in some way longs for this other person okay and even though they may feel this way, they still don't really want to admit that they actually still long for the other person, that they still love this past person or this ex of theirs, okay? Because they, they, they just want to pretend like everything is fine and that they actually want to be with you, but they can't help it that they actually still feel attached to this past person. I also saw the number 333, okay? So it's a confirmation that this is a bit of a third party situation. But I do feel that your person, uh, 
definitely wants to be free from this weird energy. They don't want to deal with this like weird, crazy, obsessive energy that is uh, very much unhealthy and uh, toxic as well. It can be a bit creepy as well. I do see that your person will be cutting, uh, completely blocking away their past person. And even in some more extreme case, they could even go for a restraining order for that past person. Okay, let me take a drink. I feel like what your person is hiding is also about their mental state, that they're actually not that happy. I mean, they're strong. I feel like it's more of their emotional state, okay? Mentally, they're strong, but emotionally, they're not that happy. They're not happy, but they don't want to look like that. They want to look like they are this strong, independent, uh, feminine energy or figure. Yeah, so I don't see anything bad that is like dangerous or like a big red flag that they are hiding from you to keep you away or to hurt you like no i actually don't see this it's more about the events that they are experiencing in their own life this is like their own you know lesson or their own situation it, it, you know basically it's their own thing okay Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. So, they, well, the, this Divine Feminine group over here, it, they have really powerful AF energy. They're slaying the, the demons over here. They are really working a lot in their craft, in their career, or even magic. Witchcraft, okay, they are learning a lot. They're doing a lot of research. There's a lot of powerful growth and spiritual awakening here happening, okay? And they're not sharing this just yet though because they want to be this perfect, shining, glowing person once they meet you again or be united with you, okay? So it's not so much as like a bad secret or a dark secret, it's just like the personal things that they're experiencing either way, okay? So that's uh, what I'm picking up so far based on the energy. Now, before I pull out some cards, I have a very interesting thing I wanna show you. So we have a color wheel, as you can see. This is to change the color of my lamp over there. Now, I am going to randomly pick a color to represent the energy and emotions of your person right now. Ooh, red. Okay, there's a lot of uh, passion over here, a lot of ambition as well, okay? So basically, they're, like I said, they're focusing a lot on their own journey and career, and they have this super burning energy to keep pushing forward. Now, let's take a look at what their intentions are for you in this connection. Oh, that was a lot of channeled messages. You know, I love whenever I just do open channeled messages like that. Keep an open mind. I see that they are just keeping an open mind about whatever may come through. It just comes true. Okay? Whatever it is, whoever it is, whatever pathways or options that may be presented in their life, they're just going to take a look at that. Okay, so their intention is to still keep the emotions and the connection or like the attachment at least that they have with you. But I do gotta say that I feel like your person is still open for other possible path in their life or other opportunities or even other people that they could date, okay? I see that they have not made a clear decision just yet if they want to really commit to this connection or not. If they want to communicate or not. They're basically, they are still open for this connection itself, but they're not going to really initiate any much more action because I 
truly feel that they are really really busy in their life they're they just have a lot of things in their mind in the plate some possible family responsibilities as well uh, other social life things going on with their friends and definitely career they're on the process of building something so again they are still open for the possibility of another chance in this connection but it doesn't mean that they are locking themselves in only the potential of this set connection okay so let's take a look i do feel that they are still hopeful though but they're not in the energy of just passively waiting and committing to this connection they are in the energy of whoever may comes first then they comes first it is safe for you to love but deep down they know that by loving you and being loved by you in a relationship is beautiful is safe they know that they can actually trust you even though you may not be in communication or maybe there was a miscommunication between the both of you either way i do feel that deep down they know that they can actually trust you and if given the chance this connection can actually be beautiful but the issue here is just that they're not too sure if they are willing to give this a chance just yet too fast so for some others of you the difference message is that they, they are keeping an open mind like for this connection for you okay but they just don't really know if they're sure about it if you are sure about it so it's not really about the trust issue it's more about they just hesitate because they also don't know exactly what you want so okay for some of you this could be like you just need to communicate more clear with them this is not so much about them like dating other people okay because i still feel that they are very much single alone and very much busy in their own life but it's like you know this idea of this feeling of just chill but they still hold on to the idea of you both getting together though i i do still feel that for um all of you who's watching okay but it's just a bit of different situation for some of you because a lot of you are watching of course so we have retreat and you deserve love your person is in the energy and in the mindset that the right person will come at the right time and they will treat uh your uh you know they will treat them correctly and that they are able to feel free and be safe to love you as well whoever that may come okay so they know that they deserve love and they know that this connection deserve another chance that this connection can actually be very loving and beautiful but they're they're just kind of confused i just gotta say they're okay they're pretty open they're chill about this but they're kind of like i don't really know what to expect i don't know i want to make sure that my future is set and settled so their intention right now for the time being is to retreat from this okay they just need some time alone i don't see them going around dating a lot of people okay for most of you they they could be open but they are not actively okay that, that's what i wanted to say they are not actively trying to go out there and dating people uh just for the sake of it i don't i don't pick that up it's like they're open but they still prefer to actually just be alone because they need a lot of time to think about their life and their future they want to make sure that they have the right you know make the right decision and have the right partner for life so yeah see protection they're protecting themselves it's not that they are denying you or rejecting you i don't see that at all we don't even have that cards okay there's no bad cards actually no they're not rejecting you i don't see that so this is actually good okay i gotta say overall this is good but it's it's not like the best either because they're just not in that energy okay of being in a relationship that quickly basically they want to make sure that they are not going to be impulsive they want to be very very careful Oh my goodness look what did i say look make a decision yeah 
So I would say that if you still willing to wait around, not passively wait around, okay? Don't don't like passively wait around you. You still got to do your own life responsibility. But if you are still willing to give this a chance and give it some time, okay? I do see that there will be union, there will be a reconnection, okay, and some conversation happening here. I do see that. I do. But it is just going to take some bit of time, okay, because I feel like your person, they may also need to have some vacation, some alone time, so that they can really clear up their mind and make a decision, okay? They are in the energy of having to also like still heal, but 70 to 80% of the energy, I I feel your person is prioritizing more of their um, career, okay? Because of the red aura color here, this is a lot about stability, grounding, that survival mode, you know? Last card, make a wish and empowerment, look. And the card at the very bottom is, oh, look at that. We have worthiness and self-employment. So the guidance for you, Amor, Sopik, Pal number three, you, okay, you just got to focus on yourself as well, okay? But yeah, I mean, what's going on with your person is that they're really focusing on their business. Like, I really don't pick up anything like extremely bad or dangerous. I don't see any red flags, okay? I don't see them doing anything to like purposely hide something to hurt you. I don't, okay? But of course, like if they decide to still be open to the dating life out there, then you, you who's watching, you also got to make your decision if you just want to move on and let this relationship go for now and then come back later like whatever it may be okay because i feel that you really love this person and i feel that those of you who's watching you have a lot of patience for this person so this is more of your guidance make a wish and empowerment what is it that you want to manifest from this connection ask and tell about it to the universe because they will be helping you out okay for this union i still do see a connection though uh, a reconciliation happening over here i do and i feel like for a lot of you who's watching you are single and you're still willing to you know be patient because you really do love and see a future with this person Okay, so if you would like to give it time, some time, then it's completely up to you. So that is your reading, pal number three. Thank you so much, my amours. Let me know down below in the comments. I will, I will be back for sure. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at amorinet as well. And I will see you.